Good afternoon, my dear students. I am your Dr. Ananilakshmi Sandeep here with new topic for the day, demographic cycle. So, I would like to explain this topic under following headings. Introduction, what is demography? What is demographic cycle? What are the different stages of demographic cycle? And finally, the summary. So, first let's get into introduction, mean to say, what is demography? So, demography is the study of human population. So, we know that it includes the study of changes in what all things? There are three important things which needs to be taken into consideration. Number one, composition of the demography. Number two, population size of the demography and distribution component of the demography. So, in demography, you are going to study the three important headings or components. They are composition of the population, population size and the third one is distribution. So, what is demography? It is the study of human population. With this introduction, let us also learn the word meaning of demography. You can divide it into two parts, demos and graph. So, what do you mean by demo? Demo means the people and graphy means the measurement. So, demos comes from the word population and graphy means picture. So, demography is nothing but the picture of total population of a country or world. So, that is what is meant by demography. So, next we will see what are the elements of demography. Elements of demography are mainly three things. Size, composition and distribution of the population. So, you know that size of the demography can either increase or decrease. Composition, it is explained in two important terms, sex distribution and age distribution or sex composition and age composition. And the distribution is nothing but territorial consideration of the population. So, there are three main elements for demography. Number one is size, that is increase or decrease. Number two is population, that is sex uh, and age group differentiation and the third but not the least is the distribution nothing but the territory. So, after knowing the elements of demography, we will get into the demographic process. What is this demographic process actually? It contains five important elements. So, what are these five important parts of this demographic process? First is fertility, second one mortality, third one marriage. Fourth one is migration, lastly social morbidity. See, if any of these components change, the demographic is automatically going to be changed in terms of its distribution or other elements. So, considering fertility, mortality, marriage, migration and social morbidity, you can define a particular population that is nothing but demographic process. By knowing this, now let us see what is actually the demographic cycle is. See, it is a cycle which contains five important steps in it. Now, what are these five important steps? It starts from high stationary, please follow the graph, high stationary, next is early expanding, third one is late expanding, fourth one is low stationary, last stage is declining. So, I repeat the stages. High stationary, early expanding, late expanding, low stationary and the declining phase. So, these five are the important phases in any demographic cycle if you take into consideration. So, now let us go one by one and study the different features, important features of each phase of demographic cycle. What is the first phase? We know that it is high stationary phase, nothing but the first stage of any demographic cycle. So, you know what are the characteristic features of this? See here, as I have pointed here in this chart, there are five stages. So, we are into this first stage into consideration. So, here you can see the two important line. One is the continuous line, the another one is the dotted line. So, the continuous line is the birth rate and the dotted one is the death rate. The gap between these two is called as the demographic gap. 
So, if you look into the high stationary stage, what does it mean to you? If you go to the top of this chart, you get to know that it is population stationary stage. Mean to tell, there is a very high birth rate and very high death rate. Can you see that? There is high birth rate and high death rate. So, the population is stationary. If there is no any change noted in the size of the population, you can call it as first stage or high stationary stage. I repeat, high stationary stage means population is stationary, high birth rate, high death rate and you can see that there is no change in size of the population. Now let's go to the second stage, nothing but early expanding phase or the stage. See here, as we are showing it in the, with the help of arrow mark, it is early expanding phase. Now, let's see what is happening to the birth rate and what is happening to the death rate. As I have already told in the previous chart, the dotted line is the death rate, the straight line is the birth rate. Now, you see here, the death rate begins to fall. Can you see that? The dotted line is coming down and the birth rate has no change in it. So, slowly you are seeing that the demographic gap is increasing. So, population grows very slowly here, whereas in the first stage it was stationary. So, you can comment it as there is initial increase in the population. So, this is called as the early expanding stage. So, early expanding stage is the population stage where there is low growth of population. The birth rate may remain stationary but the death rate begins to fall down. Now let's go to the third stage. If the second stage is early expanding then the third stage would be late expanding. So can you all see my dear students that this is the third stage. So it is the late expanding stage as we have shown it with the help of the arrow mark and here the population growth becomes more rapid. So can you see that the birth rate also begins to decline and the uh, death rate is still decreasing. Birth rate starts to decline but the de death rate is still more decreasing and you can see that the demographic gap has increased when compared to that of second stage. So you can call it as rapid population growth. The fourth stage it is low stationary stage. So here again the population becomes stationary there is a low birth rate and there is a low death rate and there is the stability of population which is achieved. The last one is the stage of decline. Here what is going to happen? The birth rate would be lower than that of the death rate. Means to say that there is fall in population. So, let's summarize what we have studied in today's class. So, what is it we have studied? Demography means the study of population. Demos means population. Graphy means the graph. We are studying how is it in uh, how, how about the total population in a country or world and you also studied the elements and process of demography. Then you now studied what are the different stages of demographic cycle, high stationary, early expanding, late expanding, low stationary and declining phase. So you can follow this small chart to note this. High stationary means birth rate is high, death rate is high and Early expanding means death rate begins to fall, birth rate may remain at the same. Late expanding, death rate still falls down, birth rate begins to fall down. Low stationary, both falls, falls down and declining means birth rate would fall lower than that of death rate. So if you look into the country example, India was in this stage of population in 1920. This means which stage? Stage 1. South Asia and Africa is, are the continents which are example for early expanding. India at present, China and Singapore are in the third stage that is late expanding. UK, Denmark, Sweden, Belgium, these are the one which are in fourth stage right now that is in low stationary phase. Germany and Hungary are the uh, places which are example for the one which are in declining phase. So, India in 1920 was in high stationary phase and India at present is in late expanding phase. So, this is all about demographic cycle. Thank you.